One of the things I think art should do is create an emotion within someone. My art, I strive it to be a good emotion, a little bit of a happy feeling. When I'm creating, I totally get into that zone. I play music, I dance around in the studio, so there's a lot of happiness going on there. Doing color and balance is just something that kind of comes naturally. I don't over plan it. I put it down and oftentimes it changes as I'm going. Most people have a connection with the feeling that it gives them and it will just speak to them. I am really fortunate in the fact that I get to do a lot of large scale pieces and that's through corporate applications. We're on the 32nd floor of a very tall building in Denver. The Coors Molson Company commissioned me to do this piece for them out of their beer bottles, actually using their product to do a visual representation of both companies joining together. So we have 30 cases of green, which are the Molson bottles, and 30 cases of brown, which are the Coors bottles. So we put 30 cases in a big giant barrel and rolled it down the hill and crushed them up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> So we basically fused them back together. Um, from a distance, it's a big color field, but if you go very close, you'll see there's necks of the bottles as well as bottoms of the bottle. This piece is mixing both my glass and metals. So we're running the torch over the copper, creating turquoises, purples, and burgundies to bring out the natural beauty of the copper, which we thought went well with the bottles. I find that I might get criticized by other artists sometimes because I sell to corporate world or I'll make something to fit someplace. There's nothing wrong with that. Michelangelo, Da Vinci, all those, they did it for patrons. It's the same thing now. So I'm blessed to be able to do that. That way I'm able to have an art career. Um, I have things in places that many people get to see that I'd never have an opportunity to do. So I'm quite fine with making something as a creative team because I still have that space where I do my own thing that I can get lost in. Fused glass is rather a new medium. It's got a little revival going on. It's older than blowing glass, people don't know that. But now, more artists are working in this medium. It's developed more to be viewed from the front, I believe, than from behind, like old stained glass pieces. The Chakra Series is something I came up with through my own practice of meditation and yoga and trying to get balance in my life. A lot of my things are Zen related. The chakras are seven points in your body. They all have a color, a vibration, and a specific purpose. This is a chakra that's already been completed. It's the red, it's the first chakra, and it is located at the base of the spine. It is your root chakra, and it grounds us in the physical world. I've done several of the panels, and this is the next panel going up the body. And this one is the blue. It's the throat chakra, and it's tied to creativity and communication, which is a good thing for today. <laughs> My pieces have an outline of a human form, and then within that, I have placed a piece of dichroic glass at the specific point of where that chakra is. Each chakra will have its own color line and color way, so you can recognize it that way. You'll know where it is in the body. And as I go up, we'll have the third eye, and then we'll have the upper chakra up there. We're gonna create a pattern like this right here, which symbolizes the energy, and that is done with powdered glass. And when it goes through the kiln, the powdered glass actually becomes solid and fuses with the uh, main body of glass. So. This is a great way to get it all on there. Voila. Okay, so right now it looks just like a pile of powdered glass, but where it's concentrated will form more dots and then this hazy area will um, just kind of look like a fog, which is great for symbolizing energy because it's all those bursts and you got a little glow around it. The dichroic section here is said to hold powers. It's used by a lot of mystics and healers. So I have a Reiki healer, master friend, that comes in and he infuses the power of that chakra into this piece and then does something to close it up and hold that power in there. So theoretically, if you need this today, you could walk up and charge up. People will come up and naturally touch something. It's like a yin and a yang. Are they abundant in this area? Or are, they, are they needing in this area? <laughs> so it's fun and I think that people really enjoy it and can relate to it. 
there's a little bit of science in both the things I do. Uh, the glass is pretty straightforward when you put it together, but there's formulas that go into the kiln. What color needs what temperature? What temperature to make it move in a certain way? But the real science is in the patina paintings. If you don't know what a patina is, if you go to Europe and you see a bronze sculpture and it's kind of green, that's the acid rain creating a reaction with the metal. So what I'm doing is I'm forcing a reaction with my metals. I mix all my own chemicals and, and then I apply them to the metal. And it's kind of like magic painting, actually. It's really fun. I use a torch to kind of force that process, kind of opening up the pores, if you will, into the metal. So the combination of the heat and the chemicals are going to create a different color palette and they just naturally kind of move together. Most of my work is abstract, however lately I have been doing it with brushes and getting a little bit more control of things and a little bit more concrete shape to something. I have a good idea of kind of what it's going to do, but when I get in there, I may be looking at it and decide, wow, I'll just stick my fingers right in it, or grab a brush, or blow on it, or sprinkle something, or whatever I need to do to kind of go with the flow of how it's moving, and it just kind of paints itself in a way. What I would like to think people get out of my paintings and my glasswork is a little bit of a sense of joy and peace. I do take my work seriously. It is something that needs to be taken seriously, but if I don't relax and have fun with it, it's gonna show on my work. So I make sure I'm in a great place mentally when I go there. I mean, who gets to do that? Who gets to be paid to make giant things? It's fantastic. Mm -hmm.